What's up guys and welcome back to Mile High Customs. Today we have this brand new Toyota Supra in the shop. It's gonna be getting full body paint protection film. This Supra is gonna be getting stealth paint protection film, which is pretty much just gonna mat out the paint while giving it all the benefits of the paint protection film. Our paint protection film carries a 10 year warranty against peeling, bubbling, fading, discoloring, anything out of the an ordinary like that. The only thing it pretty much doesn't cover is accidental damage. So say you get a rock chip or the PPF gets scratched or anything like that. At that point, the paint protection film did its job and then you can either just live with it or just remove it and you only have to redo that panel. So we're also gonna be smoking out the headlights, the front reflectors, the tail lights, as well as the rear reflectors as well. All those are gonna be going in our medium smoke. So it's gonna give it a nice little touch. We're also going to be ceramic coating the vehicle. We apply two coats of ceramic coating just so that way uh, you get a little bit more durability. It's gonna last a little bit longer and the ceramic coating is gonna make the paint protection film much easier to clean and maintain. The guys have already washed the vehicle. Ron is currently working on getting the vehicle corrected. We do a full body paint correction before applying the paint protection film just so that way it gets any minor swirls and scratches out and that way the paint is in best possible condition before applying the paint protection film. The paint correction is also gonna help remove any waxes or sealants, anything like that that might prevent the paint protection film from properly adhering to the vehicle's paint. So Ron currently has a sticker in his hand. Uh, that is just a template for the Supra emblem just so that way we can put it back in the exact spot, just so when we do the PPF on the rear bumper and the trunk, we're not gonna have any emblems, we can have full coverage, just so that way it helps minimize any of the gloss that's showing. There is the Supra emblem right there, there is the Toyota emblem right on top of the trunk, and the GR emblem right down there. So this is gonna be this week's project for our guys. They're gonna be getting this all fitted up with the paint protection film. It's gonna look really good. It's gonna look really clean. And I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy the finished product. One of the steps in the process for prepping the car for the PPF is ensuring that there's no adhesive tar or anything else, sap, things like that, that are gonna be in the way of, uh, of a more perfect install for the PPF. So when the car came in, it had uh, 24 inches on the hood. Uh, so we removed that PPF and there was adhesive left over. So things that we're looking for are adhesive, sap, tar, anything like that. Um, if you look down here as well too, so this is another thing that you can see. So this is tar, um, it's thick, it's sticky, it's just from the road. Um, th those are things that we're looking for when we're prepping the paint to make sure um, that we're not gonna have any issues when we're applying the PPF. So we're gonna go ahead and clay bar this a little bit more um, just to remove everything like that. And then when we do the paint correction and polishing it out, we're gonna make sure um, that there's absolutely nothing left over on the paint to make sure that it's gonna be a more seamless install. So we just finished up the Toyota Supra and man, oh man, this thing looks really good. Of course, we got it all wrapped up in Lumar's matte paint protection film. 
This is the Platinum version, which carries a 10-year warranty against peeling, bubbling, fading, anything out of the unusual like that. The only thing warranty usually never covers with film is accidental damage. So if a rock hits it, uh, you hit something or anything like that, that's pretty much the only time warranty isn't gonna cover anything um, or if it's accidental. We also did ceramic coat it with two coats of ceramic coating. And then we also smoked out the headlights and our medium smoke. All the reflectors on the front bumper and the rear bumper are in dark smoke. And then we did also tint the taillights in our medium smoke as well, just to tie it all in. And this thing looks, it just, it looks really good. I don't really have any words for it. I believe Toyota actually comes with a version of the matte uh, paint in this exact color. However, just with the matte paint protection film, it's a lot easier to maintain. If you get a scratch or a rock chip on matte paint, you really can't touch it up. You really can't buff it out or anything like that. Um, so matte paint is super, super hard to maintain and super hard to take care of. If you get any damage on it, there's, there's really just no solution to it other than repainting that whole entire panel. So last week was actually the week of the 4th of July. So everyone at the shop had Monday off. Um, a little bit of a backstory, I actually did a majority of this car myself. Fred also helped me as well as Hazefa, but last week a whole bunch of people at the shop got sick, including our videographers, so we didn't have that much footage of it. I did have the GoPro, which I tried to set up as much as I could, but I was pretty much the only paint protection film installer at the shop last week. So I had to do a lot of the work myself. Stayed up late nights at the shop, some nights until 11, 12, one o'clock at night, trying to finish these projects, just so we don't have any delays for the customers or anything. But I actually did this hood myself. One thing that is really complicated, or not complicated, but something that causes a little bit of a challenge on this hood, is that it is larger than 60 inches in both length and in width. And our matte paint protection film that we carry in stock only comes about 60 inches wide. So I did have to stretch the front end of the vehicle about, I'd say two, three inches. I did that all by myself. I was up for the challenge. I wanted to, something a little bit to challenge me. And it actually wasn't that bad. You guys will see it in the footage either before or after this clip. But overall, this vehicle is pretty straightforward. If you are a PPF installer, the front bumper can take a little bit of time just to make sure everything lines up. Same thing with the rear bumper, but this vehicle is overall pretty much straightforward. And honestly, I just can't get enough of just looking at it. But anyways, that'll pretty much be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed of what we have. I hope you guys enjoyed the finished product of the vehicle and make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment, hit that like button, and we will see you guys next time.